Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can edit the parameters in Crystal Report for Enterprise. So, we will see how we can edit it, how we can delete and how we can create the parameter with the dynamic list of values. So, let's go to the system and see one by one. So, here is my Crystal Report. Let's say if I want to edit the already existing parameter which is state. So if I right click on it and if I click on the edit parameter. So once we go here so we can change the name of the parameter and we can select the data type if we want to change the data type. Then we can choose it from like whether I want to allow the multiple values whether I want to select the discrete range or discrete and range and also like whether I want to make it as a prompt to user or as a hidden prompt. So whatever changes I want to do, I can do it in the edit parameter field. So after that, how we can delete the parameter. So if I want to delete any parameter, I can simply cancel this one. I can select the parameter to delete and I can right click on it and click on this delete. If I click on this delete, my parameter will be deleted from the parameters area. Then we have the dynamic parameters. So we can create the parameters using the dynamic LOEs to retrieve the data from the data source. For example, when the customer name in the database changes very frequently, so we can create the dynamic list of values. How we can do that? So let's say if I click right click here and if I go to the new parameter here I give the name of the parameter let's say if I give city I select the data type of it okay so I have to give the name different because the city is already existing and then after entering the value I have to click on the edit values list of values so if I go to this one for the list of values here I have two options I can either select the static list of values or I can select the dynamic list of values. If I choose the dynamic list of values here, let's say if I click on dynamic, here it will ask me about the value like which parameter or which object I should use for the dynamic list of value. So I select the city for it and after that do I want to sort the values so if I want to sort by value I can put it and I can change the order as ascending or descending and I click on OK so here I have selected the list of values of city which will come from my data source and then I can click on OK so this is how I can select the dynamic list of values for my any parameter so here in this tutorial we have seen how we can edit the parameters, how we can delete the parameters and how we can give the dynamic list of values to the parameters in Crystal Report for Enterprise. Thank you.